Hello everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Tales of Graces F. Like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's get this uh, glowy thing right here. Oh, some money. Okay. There's a discovery right here, so let's get that going. Carrots! We found carrots! Okay, weird science. Look at the size of those carrots. I bet there's a connection between them and the Amarsians. These are a Windor delicacy. I don't know, Mr. Science. The Amarsians have influenced many facets of modern society, you know. Such as? You know how streetlights draw power from Elip? The devices themselves are supposedly based on Amarsian technology, and the weapons that let you use Creus Arts contain similar technology. So this blade is built with Amarsian technology? Huh. Well, in that case, I guess a carrot could be as well. I know, right? I saw carrots in a book once, they were way smaller. It seems pretty likely to me. I guess that's your explanation why they're so big. But essentially here, the guy who probably farmed them with is this guy. There used to be a big pack of bandits on this road. But then the boss ran off. So all that's left are his lackeys. They're, they're kind of pushovers, actually. Oh, so you're just explaining why there's bandits on this road. Okay. Let's get this shiny right here. See over here. Okay, a broken gear. That's just kind of interesting. Oh, wolf. Let's fight against this wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, I was hoping for her to use her summoning powers that she now has, because that's what she, her, that wind power was that we got in last part was. Let's get this item right here. Okay. Should be another chest there. You are seeing now. Let's get that chest. Do 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 do. Miss hmm, Fire there. Slow charm. Okay. I see that sparkling point, but let's fight against this bandit right here. Yeah, take this. Yeah. Take this. Okay. Ah. Good. Ah, take this. Gotcha. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was interesting. Let's get this shiny right here. A troll gall. <laughs> See, there is something over here. Do, do, do. Another enemy. Ha, take this. Ha. Okay, good. Ha. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's continue onwards. And there's another monster here. Let's fight. Yeah. Take this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Say that when you level up, Richard. Let's check these titles. Okay. So uh, a while before he masters the current title he's on. So let's continue on and see where this road leads us. Because this road actually leads us back to a very old location. Yes, Eatlon Hill, we're back. But, yeah, there's actually a... There's actually a... Oh, here he is. Here's the skit. Let's do it. Chicka chicka twang! What are you doing? Just maintenance. I'm taking out the parts that are all busted and replacing them with ones that work and stuff. Like a mechanical engineer? Oh, yeah, I totally do that, too. Hey... Do you have a screw that's about this size? Uh, not really. Uh, no sweat. I'll just shop in that town up ahead. What's it called, anywho? Um, the town? It's called Laund. Asbel, will you visit Sharia and Hubert? No. Oh? What's up? You seem kind of bummed out. It's a personal matter. Sophie, Asbel's being all cold to me. <sighs> 
Sorry, Pascal. Look, it's just... It's like your gear, okay? You have to toss the stuff you don't need anymore. Okay. Really now? You're saying you don't need them? Actually, let's see what happens if I try to enter town. I want to see what happens. It's still closed off, it looks like. Let's see what happens if they finally see Hasbro trying to come back in. This isn't where we're supposed to go. Okay, so I can't even talk to them. Okay, I actually gotta go back to... I actually gotta go back to Grace Call. So, I actually will meet you back at the town. So, I'll meet you back there. Okay, we're back in Grey Skull. Now, let's actually meet the Duke. At least, I think, in this part. So, let's... Actually, we're gonna check out the inn first. To see about... How our... Requests and all. Because I think we filled out some of your requests. Mm-hmm. Okay. I still need to take care of the monster to see. Okay, we're still taking care of this. This just still goes. Okay, interesting. Uh, hmm. Well, we'll see if we can do those. Let's continue on and find the Duke's Manor. Do, do, do over here. Don't take me for a fool. Duke Dallin and the military soldiers have been, have had proper combat training. You're the ones who should be fighting this war, not you. And they're the ones who should be fighting this war, not you. What war? Now let's get going. Right, I can't enter this house. <laughs> Check out the matter. <laughs> Okay, let's enter the house. Your Highness. Dallin. Ah, Your Highness. It does me well to see you safe. I thought you were still in Verona and was even now preparing my troops for a rescue mission. That's nice to know you, had, you actually care about the prince. Sorry to have worried you, but I will put your troops to good use in the coming days. I intend to defeat Uncle Cedric and avenge my father's death. I pray you will support me in this, Dallin. All that I call mine is yours to command, my lord. Now, please rise. Let me introduce you to my friends. This is Asbel. It is by his hand that I was able to escape the capital. And this is Sophie and Pascal. Both have been a great help to me as well. I am Asbel Lant. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Asbel Lant? Of the family Lant? Yes, sir. I am the eldest son of the late Lord Aston. I see. Well, you have my eternal thanks for saving his highness. I could do no less, sir. I consider it my duty. These are indeed strange times for Lond. Has he heard what happened to the town of Lond? How they got taken over by Strata? It seems Strata has seized de facto control of the area. I guess he did. Can you tell us of the current situation, both in Lond and elsewhere? We need to plan our next move. Of course. This way, please. Archduke Cedric currently holds power over Barona and the surrounding areas. The Stratton military, however, appears to be acting independently. That's interesting. I thought they were allies. So, did they have nothing to do with the king's death? They seem to have occupied Lant of their own accord. 
This has allowed the Creus mines near Launch to come under their control. That gives them the power to cut off Windor's supply of Creus. It does indeed. If the situation is prolonged, this could become a very serious problem. I also heard something about an alliance between Windor and Strata. Yes, Archduke Cedric has maintained close ties with Strata for some time now. Okay, so they are in league with each other. Okay, it's kind of confusing, but whatever. He most likely gave them Launt in exchange for turning a blind eye to his treasury. Or perhaps for their outright cooperation. That makes a lot of sense. I'm sorry, Asbel. That can't be easy for you to hear. Asbel Lont, the prince and I must now engage in very sensitive discussions. I would ask that you please take your leave. Uh, wait! You must allow me to help you take back Barona. I want to help his highness however I can. I would ask this as well, Dallin. I need Asbel. Very well. If that is your wish. Thank you, Dallin. Let me explain our position. I guess Hasbro will learn. There is but one road to the capital, and it leads through Wallbridge. The Archduke, perhaps anticipating an attack, has garrisoned a large number of troops there. <laughs> we could use the underground ruins, I think. Would be suicide. If we can't go through the front, how's about just poofing right into the middle? You didn't see it, but there's a second device in the ruins that'll zap you right into the fortress above. You're telling us this now? Really? I see. So we could send someone to infiltrate Wallbridge and open the main gates. Is that possible? If so, it would put us at a distinct advantage. Allow me to infiltrate the fortress, your highness. I will carry out this mission without fail. Pascal, will you come and help me with the devices? Okay! I will go as well. I fight this battle for my late father. If I am to avenge him, let it be with my own hands. Your highness... Enough. I'm going. Now let's gather the commanders and plan the rest of our strategy. Yes, sir. So we strike tomorrow. Things are really moving fast. Asbel, I'm sorry. I don't want to drag you into this. My uncle has many of the knights on his side, so some of them may be people you know. I think it's as long as it's not our old friend that was our teacher and all, I think we should be fine. joined up with you. I am your sword, Richard. Use me as you will. Thank you, my friend. I would never say this to anyone else, but I have no desire to fight a war. I wish there was another choice. The faster we finish this war, the sooner peace will be restored to our land. I'll do whatever I can to make that happen. Thank you. Now come, Asbel. We have a battle to win. And we will! I can't stop looking at Richard. I get nervous when I see him with Asbel. But Asbel and Richard are friends. Richard would never hurt Asbel. So why am I feeling worried?
That's a lot of troops. Brave warriors of Windor. Today we march for the capital under the command of His Highness, Prince Richard. Your Highness, my men await your word, sire. Men of Windor, today we strike a blow for justice. I expect great things from you. May the wind guide our blades. May the wind guide our blades. All men, move out. It's time for us to infiltrate Wallbridge. Please take good care of His Highness, Asbel Lant. Sir, understood. Let's return to the ruins. We'll be able to access the fortress from within. I just noticed that Richard has different color eyes. I find that very interesting. Anyway, now we got a new title. We have actually have a chest in um, in the manor to find, so let's find that chest first before we get going. So let's get back to the manor. Do 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 do. <laughs> Okay. Should be up here, up the steps. There you are. Mm -hmm. And the password is four. <laughs> Okay. Anyway. Let's go back down here. One, two, go over here. And there should be somebody giving us some cards that are down here. Do, do, do. You? Oh, you found me. Didn't you? I hear in my special place, my Katra corner, if you will. Yes, I am she who obsessively counts the cards night after night. I am the magic Katra maid. One, one Katra card, two, two Katra cards, three, three Katra cards. Look, don't tell Duke Don, okay? Here, I'll give you my duplicated cards. Okay. Mm hmm. That's useful. That's right. Okay. That's good. There's also a discovery down here, so let's get that as well. Um, over here. Hello, random crab. A bottle. <laughs> Message in a bottle. That's our discovery, huh? A letter in a bottle. Is this the work of a child? How so? This is Lake Grail, not a river to the open sea. A bottle like this wouldn't breach a foreign land. Interesting. I never knew that. Wait, does that make me a child as well? <laughs> Sorry about that. I suppose it did sound a little bit condescending, huh? Just a little. Hey, um, Asbel? What is it, Sophie? Did you want to ask Richard something? Uh, no. It was nothing. Too close, you two! Step away! What are you insinuating? Okay, that was weird again. Okay, now let's get back over here. Do do. Over here. 
Okay. Let's get over here. And then over here. Let's keep on going. And then. Let's see. Actually, I gotta check out one little thing over here first before we get going. I'll cut back to here. Okay, I'm back after some grinding and as well as mastering some titles, as well as doing some side quests at the end. So, yeah. <laughs> we basically did the carriage side quest thing that was right there, which actually is not really much of a side quest because no cutscenes happen. It's just getting some carrots. Anyway, there's a skit right here. So let's see this skit. So the entrance to the ruins was... Hmm, let's see. Where was it exactly? You go east all the way down to the end of this road. It's where we saw Sophie's illusion, remember? It was just before Wallbridge, correct? I recall the entrance being in a thicket to the right. See? Richard's all smart. Try not to forget next time, Asbel. I hadn't forgotten the first time. Come on, let's just go. No need to get sulky now. I wasn't sulky either! Okay, that was sunny. Now, actually, we're going to end this for today. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.